all right all right all righty hello what's going on how are we all you all good it is blooming cold where i am today i'm just shutting everything how are everyone welcome back into the stream it's been a while since we did stream and we're gonna be doing something a little bit different today which should be fun um so yeah let's see how we get up with that one it's time to start getting into a little bit of testing with the northern farms so hello crystal what's going on buddy how are you doing welcome 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 27 of you here do say hello let's see who's in the chat as we get ourselves going um as many of you will know we have been working on the map for quite a while now it's actually just about a year or so since i created my first build in blender um that building did not make it into this map in any way because it was terrible but it was about a year so it's been a long time coming we've made a lot of good progress with it as well and we're now at the point where i have a handful of small testing issues to fix um I, but i want to just run through and do a bit of gameplay on it so i can see where there may be other issues or figure out things out that i may have missed and see what that looks like hello andrew what's going on massey as well welcome 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 The uh, the old unplayable shadow of the pig farm there is not no not at the moment. It may change, but at the moment no. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, there was a video out this morning as well. Uh, looking into the last two yards uh, on the map. Hello, Mike, M Michelle as well. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, so yeah, what we're gonna do is we'll start on the starter farm as it is right now, and we're gonna just have a bit of a blast around, drive around the map probably as we get going as well. See what that looks like. Give you a bit of a tour and see where it goes hello john is um it is based off of northumberland uh various different farms across northumberland there and it is three real life farms but they're not in their real life location if that makes sense because it just wouldn't fit from a giant's perspective sort of uh, from a mapping perspective they're kind of being stitched together so yeah that's what it's looking like uh all right so i suppose uh gotta be a massive 6480 i would say andrew Go with that. Uh, do, 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 do. All right. Get a bit of that on there. So. Spotify's coming through like a champ as well. Oh, what a time to be alive. All right. Hello, Adam, as well. Welcome along. How you doing? So, there's a few things I will say that I haven't finished yet. And the key one that you'll notice is going to be the PDA. It's not quite finished, but uh, it's not aligned and there's a, a bit of tidying up I need to do in it. But there it is anyway. The green is unplayable. Uh, the And it's kind of predominantly woodland trees. The, mat, the actual PDA needs to be moved a little bit because it's, it's a bit too high. So it needs to come down a, sh a shade and then we'll be good there. Uh, but yeah, we are starting in the middle of the map, really. Uh, this is the starting farm house. But what we're going to do is I move my pedals on. Hello, Scott. Happy Thanksgiving to you too, as well as Canadian Thanksgiving this weekend. So if you are watching from Canada, happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. Hello, Ethan. How are you doing? Uh, this is uh, the stable questionnaire that is sellable. So if you don't want to have that, you can clear that off pretty quickly. Well, ha let's have a walk through. You can hear the hens are here. We've got them in place. They're doing fine there on the backside of the vegetable garden as well. Uh, diesel tank will need to be refilled. I haven't done that yet. De -de -de -de. Sure, let's just buy that. That's wonderful. And then, yeah, your eggs are going there, so you can get in with a forklift to, to pick those out. Happy days. That's the tank you can hear there coming on through. Uh, and then yeah, around the corner to the main yard here. This is like I say, one of the three main big yards, and then there's a smaller pig yard as well. So, uh, but yeah, pits are in. Collisions are working on the silage pits as well. Uh, you got a Dutch barn sheep shed through there. This is your cattle shed, and then a bit of a yard here to do a bit of everything in. What I will do, just to, if you haven't seen it, you would have seen it on the thumbnail, of course. But there you go. You got your village down there. That's where we're going to be getting to very shortly. BJ on the far side there. The other big farm is through the trees over there. And then the arable farm is right ahead of us front and center. Excellent. So. Uh, excellent news. Good to hear. Cattle are in. They need to be fed properly. Everything needs to be fed, really. I gave the sheep a few bales of hay. We have no fodder to feed them with. So the first thing we're going to get on with today will indeed be mowing down a little bit of grassland. We might make silage bales with it. Just for speed, or we might make hay, but it's through here anyway. 
Coming through the back of the shed. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm going to come into this field here. Excellent. So we'll get that one done first. The sheep are obviously in this one here. Now, from a uh, land perspective, we own a few fields to start the day off. Got this little uh, bit up here. You can see where it's, the map needs to be moved down a bit, but ignore that. We will get that one tied up. We've been doing a lot of that this week. It takes a lot longer than one would think to uh, finesse a PDA and make it look better. So we're working on that. But yeah, so that's where we need to be up the top here. We can get to that bit nice and easily. And then, yeah, this train line right here has an active train on it. Uh, and then nothing to the south of this yet. Maybe one day there could be an extension, but we're not going to get into that yet. That seems like too much. Uh, but anyway, back around we go. Uh, our wool should be coming through right about here. Sheep will, and cattle will need water, but the wool um, pallets will spawn along the front here. Uh, but yeah, let's get a bit of mowing started, I suppose. We've got a couple of old masses here to help us out. I'm going to move that back just because this is... Uh, no, that'll do. All right. So, parked out the way over here. We do need to fill this shed with uh, hay and straw, to be honest. If I have any chance of keeping the cattle going over the winter. Uh, that was the intention that we use this shed here for, uh, for that, this Dutch barn. But you could, depend upon how you manage your machinery, and if you don't mind keeping it outside, you could use this shed along the end here for the exact same thing as well. Right now, we're just shuffling machines around still, so... That we'll figure out in due time. Uh, all right. We've got a Massey. We've got three Masseys here. Well, two Masseys in the Ford, sorry. 3670, bit of old power. We've got the 7740. And then we've got our 5475 on the mows, which we're going to get into now. Um, Manitou. This farm had no much, much older Manitou on it back in the day, but don't have that anyway. So this will do. Uh, combines in there, got some rollers, a sprayer, and a drill tucked back in the corner. We might even get to the combine today. That'd be a good way to go because we'll be able to go and check in with the take a load to the grain store. Uh, workshop is in here. Whammy. There she blows. Little workshop there to, to get cracking along with. Uh, but we don't need that right now. So let's just go and get a field knocked down. Let me know if we should do rat bailed silage or if we should do a bit of hay. Kind of open to do either, really. Uh, let's put that into swap drop in mode. Okay. Now, if you've seen, uh, if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen him yet, first of all, welcome along. Second of all, go and check out some of the videos that have been doing weekly updates to this map, bringing you along the ride for uh, some of the different things we're doing in terms of. Uh, yard tours, map tours, I, I drove cross country on the um, the track that I built. Uh, there is a public footpath not far away from here as well. Get around there, there you go. Oh, I've hit it. Looks like I was through, but never mind. We'll try that again. Hey, Kevin. Uh, will there be, uh, will there any time be a new role play? Uh... Yeah, so I'm thinking about it. I've been putting a lot more attention on finishing this map up, to be honest with you. Um, and now that this might get finished, I might do something on this map. because That would make sense. Uh, but, you know, we'll have to see. Make sure I can get through there without knocking down that. Wonderful. Everything you see on this map, with the exception of a few small bits of detail like that pile of rubble there or that uh, pile of tires. It's just that side. It's always that side. Uh, has all been built from scratch. The map detail, there's the same sort of detail that you'll see on other uh, creators' maps as well because it's a prefab pack. But the rest of it is all scratch built. We have to move that, I think. There you go. We're through. We're through. Nailed it. Alright. 
like I said, you can't get rid of that stables. I don't know how much it's worth, but if you're not into that kind of thing, it's a nice and easy way to uh, to get to get a little bit of extra revenue coming in. Let me know what the audio is like now. Would love Diamond's Diary series again. Yeah, might get to it. Might well get to it. We'll have to see. Uh, not gonna be too fast for me. Probably we'll try that. So as I come down to the bottom here, like I say, this is the village of Bellum up ahead. Uh, it's based off a real village, but because it's not quite the same, I didn't name it the real, uh, the same name. It shares a lot of the similarities, but for gaming reasons, or you have to, or I had to add in uh, a lot of different features. And we'll get to those things like a store, things like a, um, you know, a couple of different farm shops, that kind of stuff. But they're there. We'll have a look at some of those as we get going through. What we'll probably do is there's a few fields ready to harvest. We'll probably jump into one of those soon and just cart the grain away um to different locations so you can have a look and see what they look like that's probably going to be a good step uh but yeah this is a small little paddock this would usually have been made into hay but we can uh as we we're swathing it we can probably just stick this into silage bales at some stage i'd reckon we need a bit of everything what's your favorite series in 19 to make um the most challenging would be dairyman's diary if only because Trying to create new new content and lines and scripts and things. That was never the easiest. And trying to keep things fresh and moving along without becoming too repetitive. Um, what else was good though? Young Farmer was good to make. Like that one. Cornbrook Contracting that VF and I had going. That was good. That was particularly good because we were able to bring a lot of people along for the ride as well. Like the so Game of Dragon and Gav as well. Is this four times? No, it's going to be two times. Two times to start with. That was enough for me to get my, my feet wet, really, with mapping. Um, I have been speaking to somebody off um, offline, really, around about my next project, which I've kind of got dialed in now and start to think about how that's going to work. So that should be really fun. That's going to be a DEM map as well, uh, whereas this one was not a factual DEM, but it's been built to work. It couldn't really be factual because, like I mentioned, I've stitched three different areas together. But um, the new one will be a DEM and it should be pretty exciting if it all comes together it should work out well Mega Farms is good and that was a brilliant map to build and Challenton was just phenomenal for that really really was I understand why I actually didn't bring it to um, 22 just because the work to convert it would have been would be crazy crazy but i can understand nonetheless why and this is a brilliant map to have uh all right so what i haven't done yet what will be done we're going to be changing the xmls in here so you can feed cattle bales of silage rather than having to do hay or, or grass bales so that will be coming uh, it's a fairly straightforward tweak of the xmls i need to make for that one hello island agri uh it will be hopefully yep yeah, that's the plan that is the aim to get this across all platforms Mr. Ghoul, hello. Just gonna send it. Oh, welcome, sir. How are you? I do like this mower. I haven't used this mower anywhere near enough. Ooh. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. What's that? Let's do one more then, I think. I think we're going to bail this. I have a round baler, but I don't have a wrapper yet. So maybe we'll, we'll have to go and buy a wrapper, I suppose. Hot air balloon. We'll mow this down. We'll go and take a drive to uh, the store to pick up a bale wrapper, which we will need. Um, and then we'll get a bit of combine done, I think, so we can take a drive and show you, like, cart off to some of the different locations. And I'll show you a few features around the boat as well as we go. But yeah, this is actually one of the first times I've actually done any real farming on this map. Uh, which is bizarre to think, given that I built the thing. But yeah, I haven't done a great deal. Hello, the country lad! Uh, do you know when it will be released? Negative at the moment. Um, there's no release date yet. It's hopefully soon. Like I say, I've done... When you build a map now, there is an in-game testing portal uh, that Giants made that you can go through and remove a lot of the areas that, areas that Giants may find. 
I've already gone through those and I've removed a healthy chunk of them already. Um, all of the texture issues I was having, they've been removed. I've got a handful of maybe about 15 or 20 errors for uh, different in-game things, which again, should be... It's something that you just keep ticking along. Uh, so hopefully they'll get those done sooner rather than later. And then after that, it's off to Giants really. Now, I've got a few things in-game that I'm still looking to fix and, and tweak, which is fine. Uh, I'm also off to on holiday very shortly, so that's going to put a stop on things, uh, understandably. But yeah, that's the plan at least anyway. So, I mean, I would say if I can get it released uh, through some point in November, I'd be happy with that. Depends, I guess, on Giants as well and their testing and how long that's all going to take. But yeah, that would be my hope. And then on to the new one, which I don't know if we'll come to 20 fs22 or 24 or what but i guess that will just depend on how long it takes i'm working off about a year at the moment so we'll, we'll have to see try and prepare for work tomorrow yeah i hear that it's never a fun thing to do uh let's just keep doing this on this side like I say, not the particularly big field, so it's nice and easy to get rattled through. I think we'll just square this side up as well. So there's a couple of different uh, decorative features around about. A couple of lakes here and there. There's uh, a lot of sheds in the corner of fields that aren't really doing much or aren't really useful for anything but decorative uh, use just wanted to make it feel a bit more real i took a lot of inspiration for that from oxyon uh, court farms just having things in fields that again maybe you wouldn't really necessarily use or couldn't use anymore but they're there so that's what we want to get to this is a 54 75 massey i do on athenum yeah YouTube's not my living, Kevin. I wish it could be. It'd be a lot more flexible. But no, um, I have a few different jobs uh, over the years. But in my secret job at the moment, there, I've been in that for about, uh, where are we, 2023? About six years now. Which is all pretty incredible. around we go uh let's drop down again all right cool so yeah any questions let me know i'll have a I'll, I'll try and get them like i say we'll go for a bit of a drive very shortly just to uh uh taking a bit of the map really we might even just take a tractor down the store pick up the wrapper buy a gator of some sort and uh and go on our way that way because if yeah that, that'll be good because there's a, a one farm that we just won't get to today Do, do, do. More model kits. Why? How is that not surprising to me? Uh, yes, Kevin. These farms that I've built here are all farms that belonged in my family at some stage or another. This one here would probably be the most recent. Um, but the, the, the three main farms on this map were all inspired by or, or where I've spent lots of hours over the, my younger years. Now, like I said, I've tried to build these farms as true to life as possible. There are occasions where you need to add things in for game purposes, such as the silage pits. Not everyone wants to make build silage, so I wanted to give you all the option to do pit silage if you wanted. So uh, we add that in just so we could see and give you the give you the chance. So, um, but that are in, yeah. Try to make it as uh, as friendly as we can. Jeeper is cool. Hey, Farms in Briscoe, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Walter White official. Hello, welcome, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. How are you today? You are the one who knocks after all.
Um, I am old. Mid 30s, incredibly. I know I look but 21, but yeah. Mid 30s. Hey, Adam, how's it going, bud? Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's not too bad, is it? Some legend made this tractor on the front. Mo is not all that bad either. Is this your first map? It is going to be my first ever map I've made. Yes. Yep. Taken a little under a year. Lots of people have had lots of questions from me. Specifically, uh, Oxy and, and the Modern would, would be the, the brunt of the most of them. Um, Adam uh, Grigson there has had a few as well. But yeah. Lots of questions, lots of YouTube videos to figure out how things work. Lots of time spent in Blender. But I think the results are all good. I'm proud with it, at least. There's a few things that I could probably learn to do better next time around, but ultimately, it's, uh, it's close to where we are. This mower is underrated, in my opinion. I haven't used it anywhere near enough either, but it's just nice to have it. I like the fact that you make it look a bit older as well. All right, so... Like I said, we're just going to park this near the yard. Oh, wrong button. Uh, we're going to park this in the yard. We'll probably bail this up for round bailed silage at some stage. But I think we'll go and just take a drive. Show you what's going on. Out of the way, sheeps. Hey, fast farming. Welcome, welcome. How are you? I can't make Tractor's Island at all. Nope, it's not me. See, this little track here is going to be infinitely easier with a mounted mower. But, you know, say la vie. Get around there. Nailed it. Yeah, nearly. Just ruined him. That's an aggressive collision on that side of the mower. Let's have a look into that. I mean, sure, I am raking up against the side, but there you go. All right. I might just leave that here for now. I'm doing well, thank you. I'm doing well. Uh, we will go and pick up a wrapper in this. And then that field could be mowed down as well. There's a little field behind the houses over there. But we'll get to those. Ah, oh, thank you, Slow. Some of my family is still living there in real life. So yeah, things like straight ahead over there. In the corner... Uh, whilst we're here, I'll go and show you. Zoop. So this little track doesn't actually lead anywhere yet. Uh, it's, it's great access for this field here. It goes into a wood. That wood doesn't lead anywhere but the boundary, so you can't really do anything. But still, a little bit of a decorative feature there. An old shed used for something. Just a little equipment inside there. Uh, and then there's a little lake over here. Which is right about there. So just little things like that happen around the place. Just to give, you know, something else. Because why the devil not? What's going on, Freddy? How you doing today, buddy? Welcome, welcome, welcome. And then, yeah, we've got a few different crops around here that we can get on with at some stage. So we might just do that. Uh, but, like I say, let's go and... As you can see, this one is more farm. Hey, Simulator, welcome, welcome. Uh, Henry, probably, yeah. Probably. 
so we're coming down, like I said, towards the village of Bellum. A few different sized fields around here that you can get stuck on into. It is indeed, yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, I got a hot air balloon cracking along over the top there. This here is the corner of your footpath. You can walk along there. That crosses right over the map. And into the village we come. Boop. After you. Oh, I'm going this time. This is too much. Where did you come from? Where? It's a busy old road, this. This road in reality is here. This is the B1337, I do believe it is. Um, and this is quite a busy road. Uh, it does connect a few... One big town with a few smaller towns along the coastside. When's it coming out? Um, great question. I got a lot of testing to do with it still. Um, this is the first time I've done any real gameplay testing, but... I've been running with the testing app for a while, and that's coming along. Um, and then we've got a lot of the fixes done. There's about another handful left to do. Uh, this is the store, the area where you should find all your uh, kit will come into. Um, let's go and have a look in here. This is the farm stop, farm shop. As you can see, it sells many different brands. Around the corner of here is the workshop, and then also the um, got the workshop there, and then just seed store there. Uh, but that is your workshop with workshoppy things inside but anyway let's go and have a peek inside of here a couple of offices there uh i'm here for a wrapper though so let's just do that i do play on pc yes freddy yeah Baylor wrapper screw it that loop Hmm. He's looking to why it's doing that. That's weird. Interesting. Push me back where I was, please. There. Not there. There. Okay, so wrap has appeared. Uh just so I don't go anywhere else. Let's get a gator, shall we? Hey Mark, what's going on? MDL, how are you, buddy? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, let's go car, and then... This will do. Alright. So yeah, that's the inside of the store anyway. Um, a few pictures on the wall there. Giants will recognize those. Hopefully that'll not get rejected. Uh, so, there are bags of fertilizer. We'll get to those when we need them. But we're going to take a little bit of a drive. We're going to have a look through some of the areas that we won't get to normally. And then we'll come back... Take the wrapper away with us and see what we get going with. Uh, so. You got your village pub. Next to the pub, you got a little farm shop as well. So let's have a scoot into here. Ooh, crikey. Um, so yeah, pub, grain cell point there for the pub. You got a, a cell point here as well. Why is that all here? There should be a great cell point here at least. I might need to lift those up. That's interesting. Let's see if that's uh Let's just be underneath. Alright, there should be a great cell point there, so we will have to look to see where that's gone. That's interesting to see. Freddy, how many times do you stream a day? Oh good lord, try how many times I stream a month, really. Unfortunately, I'm Busy, busy outside of farm sims. I don't get too much time to do too much streaming. So I would say I don't get to stream anywhere near as much as one would like to. Uh, maybe we'll try and do more in the future. Uh, See so yeah, you, good. Best thing to do is keep an eye on my social media or YouTube channel as well. And if I'm going to stream, I'll let you know on there. So into the village we come. The, foot, the public footpath sneaks over that way. Uh, all these village houses. The only the only model that I haven't built on here is that house model there. That was from NM Modern. Everything else has been built from scratch. 
Uh, let's go, people. I'm gonna have time for this. So, the footpath which will lead you down here towards Mana Farm. This is an arable farm. Uh, and we're gonna cut on down through past the park here on the right. You see your cricket pitch in the corner. Uh, but around the corner, come. Uh, I'll try to stream once a week, to be honest, Freddy. Uh, now, through there is just the, the buildings. And down here along this track. Oh, it's a big old secret island. Big old secret. Not allowed to say. Uh, plus you. Down there is a little bit of a campsite. Uh, what I'm going to make, which I haven't done yet, but... I keep meaning to add it in is that you can buy this field of land and when you buy the land you buy the campsite as well and it'll give you a, a, another source of income uh that's something i want to do you can access it through here or also the track that goes around the back of those woods over there as we move on in to the uh to the farmyard here though Do, 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 do. Oh, they need to be turned around. That is not ideal. Not good, Bob. Not good. Uh, so, in here you come. Just put this new concrete road in recently. That's the Dutch barn there. You can store things in. Big arable shed. Workshop. Man door. And then that's just your regular uh, roll shutter door. Grain storage area as well. So you got your grain dryer in here, which is noisy in here in the background. And then this is just your storage area. You can tip on the floor. This is a tip collision here as well. So you could tip on the floor if you wanted to, but you're also going to need space to store your kit. Um, come out of here. You got your chemical store there. Uh, another storage shed. And then this is your the, the um, grate for your grain dryer. So what you can do is just swing your tractor trailer around there, back it into here. Tip it into there, and it'll go through the grain dryer, and it'll, it'll store it there. That's your, your silos and store. When you want to load it out, you come to that auger right there. Nice and simple. And that's this yard in a nutshell. Uh, what we will do is I won't go to the other two far away farms uh, or the other main farm at the other end there, but I will go to the one just over there. Thought about it from time to time, Henry. Thought about it. Do, 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 do. On to this nice little single track lane. Um... And away we go. I fell off my bike here once when I was much younger. Right in that corner. Uh, okay. Pig farm over here. This farm was designed to look a little bit more dilapidated. A little bit more run down. Um, which I think I've kind of got what I wanted. Leave you there. It is... It's still usable. This is a storage shed. This shed is the one that someone's mentioned in chat before. This is not... This, you can't remove this. Uh, but at the same time, it's it's not animal proofed. You can't really use it for storing animals in yet either. Uh, you could... If you knew how to do it in game, you could easily add another place pull in there. You've got a grain silo. This works. So if you do own this area, you can tip into there and um, load trailers out through there. And then you've got your pigs and this is a water silo as well. Uh, they all work equally. Which is pretty cool. Uh, and then, yeah, around, those are all buildings you can't really use. They're just decorative more than anything else. There's the hot air balloon again. And then you got a house around here. Just old buildings, which aren't really good for much. And then a few smaller fields out the back. If I do this... You got a train line. Running across the edge of the map there. And there's the cars coming down the main road from the, uh, the silo and the BGA over there. Typically, we're not here for a train at the moment, but never mind. This is all, all these fields are just for decorative features more than anything else. I'm still umming and ahhing how I want to finish that off, but 
Yeah, that's what we've got there at the minute. And some old um, cattle pens. Not really good for much at the moment, but they're there. And away we go. And then out to this location here, where you'll see we've got our uh, dilapidated sheds. There goes the train. Uh, that, both of these sheds here can be, uh, well, this one here, the really broken one, can be removed entirely. Uh, and this one here can have all the clutter removed from it as well. So if you want to do survival, it's a very cheap plot of land to buy. And you can use those pretty quickly and easily as well, uh, which a lot of people will do. Uh, and then yeah, a few more sheds around about there. Now we're going to turn up this road. It might be a bit risky. We're not going to go up to the mart up there yet. We'll, uh, in fact, we will. Why the heck not? We've got a few things up here. You've got the animal dealership up here. You've got the BGA, bail cell point, uh, grain store, and then northern or oh, northeast livestock services right here. Uh, which you can come on into. I was looking to try and get some sound effects in here as well, but I haven't quite got that yet. Yeah, there's the old Mart Calf. Very important place. Uh, and there you go. There's the little Mart. That's where the auctioneer will stand. And uh, looking all good. What the name of the map? Uh, the Northern Farms. Whee! You can wait. You can... Or you can just do that. Okay. Uh, so yeah, there's a, a grain cell point in there and other produce cell point in that uh, BJ, along with the BJ itself and also bale cell point. There's a quarry down to the left over there. We'll get to that at some stage maybe later on. That's a larger track so you can take bigger equipment up to the uh, the second big farm. We're not going to go that way today though, or, or at least right now. Uh, Rothbury is a real life town, so that might give you an idea of where we are if you know the area very well. Coming through this village. There's a... Oh, missed it over there, actually. Uh, there's another dairy over there. And then also your um, sawmill as well. Uh, now, what we'll do... Is go this way. I know, I know. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There's your map. Like I say, PDA is a little bit off. That's still being worked on at the moment. I'm just... Had enough of working on it because I've been doing it for quite a while. So uh, we left that for a little while. Old buildings here. These aren't really used for anything. Just decorative. Uh, and then we're going to come up here. So we haven't gone all the way up to that northeast corner there yet at the moment. We're just going to creep through here. That is a tall crop of maize. Again, another little area that you could maybe acquire as a storage yard, storage area, stack yard, anything like that. Uh, but what we're going to do is a follow the footpath hello ma'am that goes down just to more fields down there up we come and we're back at the main farm pretty much this is one of the fields that we'll get into straight away, actually. This is where you'll come and just... If you want to manually, well, you have to manually unload your milk, but this is from the, the trigger is right here. And then get you going there. Uh, all right, so with the magic of this, let's bring our uh, mow, uh, bale wrapper back over. Yeah, thanks, Simulator. Glad you, uh, glad you like it. Like I said, it's taken a lot of work to get to this stage, so... A lot of finessing things and fiddling things out, but I am now happy with where it's at. Apart from the few small things that we find we've got to fix, but...
and then yeah that's where the footpath continues as we saw before so i wanted to give you uh users and players an opportunity if they wanted to walk across the map which not many people do or hey take a atv or a uh, dirt bike or something you have the opportunity and the capabilities to drive off-road and uh you know just explore a little bit different maybe it's worth putting some of those like the gold nugget things on there or something but i don't know let me know what you think Uh, and then I might just look to stick this over here. Awesome. Stuck on the pillar. Bombs in physics for the win. There you go. Uh, Alright, so. Like I said, cattle can be fed through here. Uh, this is, uh, in theory, your muck midden. This is where your muck will spawn, but I haven't got any yet, so thanks there. But cattle will be fed along there. Bale triggers in there as well, and that will be able to take... Um, I will be able to take all things uh, silage bales as soon as I've got that configured. Uh, but what I think we'll do... What do you want to do? Shall we continue bailing or shall we get some combine and dumb? Move this out of the way whilst we wait. Harvest for Henry. I think that could be a good shout. Oh, close. Like I say, silage pit does work. Collisions are in there. You can seal it over and everything's functioning with that one. I'm just not going to do it today because single player wise, this take too long. Uh, we'll leave it be. And it can park more and I'll likely end up on this test and save at least stacking bales in here. It does take quite a lot to fill it as well, I've noticed. I think I had like 200 plus thousand litres in here, so it's a, it's a fair size. for a different field that we can buy and go and have a little bit of a look around Ooh, what's that about What is that? 
think that is potatoes. We don't want potatoes. But... We'll take that one and we'll change those. Thirty-five and thirty-four. Okay. Just so we can get them to go and see a little bit of a different area. Let's do that. We'll go barley, short, ready for harvest, confirm. 35. Perfect. Everything out of the shed. Let's get the combine out. That was a pretty cool uh, animation. I don't think I've seen that before. So what we'll do is we're going to take the header trailer on the back of the combine here. Like I say, go for a wee bit of a drive. But uh, for that to work effectively, we'll stick you there for now. I would go follow me, but uh, I also... I think we'll use this because it was a little bit tight to... Yeah, I've got follow me enabled, but I think with... Until I'm comfortable with how the roads are working, I think we'll just leave that. Uh, so some of the equipment you have here, there will be, it'll all be default, of course, uh, but you'll have the John Deere 7810, you'll have the Massey 3690, they will be your two tractors, uh, you'll have, this combine will be replaced with the Deutz, Agriline or whatever it is, uh, the class trailer rather than that one, uh, the cultivator and the uh, tether will, you'll start with, the feeder you will, the baler and the two bits of equipment that's fed there, so the rake and the fertilizer spreader. And then everything else that you see in there at the moment. So you should have everything, everything you'll need. Come back for you. If we can... Hey David, how's it going? Um, hopefully soon as I'm happy with testing and got it through Giants testing as well. I uh, mentioned before I've got a handful of um, things to fix from the Giants test runner, which is like a, a mock, a practice test. So I've got a handful of things to fix there. Once they're done, then it goes off to Giants. Um, and then in theory, yeah, see what they say and how long it takes with them. Hopefully, hopefully not long, but uh, 
I am going away on holiday for a week very shortly, so that is going to obviously stop a lot of uh, a lot of productivity. But so I'd like to say maybe a month or so, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. All right, we good. Hi, chickens. You made me eggs, yes. So yeah, this will be just a nice opportunity to go up to the area that we haven't been to yet as well. Hopefully traffic won't be too crazy. Hey Wicklow, what's going on buddy? How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I think I'm I'll have to watch out for pedestrians on this little section of the road here. Um but yeah, it's so we've got the balloon you can just see in the corner that's about to come up again. Uh there's also pedestrians like this person here. You, you do you, you carry on. Uh, you got cars and traffic, of course. There's a train in the far ground as well. Uh, so plenty of splines around the place that will just give it a little bit more of a, a real life immersive feeling. Ah, thank you very much. Should be good. I'm looking forward to... Uh, I'm over the bulk of the, the work to, to make it, so I'm, I'm looking forward to finish testing it, that's for sure. Get all the errors fixed, because sometimes they're the hardest things to figure out. But uh, yeah, looking forward to doing that. And then, yeah. It will seem surreal when, you know, I have other people other than me uh, either playing on it or releasing content on it or whatever it may be. But yeah, that's going to be good. Uh, knackered old cattle shed there, that doesn't really do much. But again... Just a little bit of decorative feature. Bugger. Ah, good. Nothing coming. Ooh, get over. Like I say, the traffic does split, so you... This village that we're coming up to is quite tight, and with traffic in there, it was just becoming a little bit too impassable, so... Um, traffic goes down that way to get past the, the B, uh, BGA, which makes this a little bit more manageable. It doesn't mean that occasionally you, you always hit... Well, I always, always seem to have hit traffic at the bridge, but there's always ways you can get around that. Animal pens won't at the moment, no. I mean, I might get around to that and maybe a custom update, but to begin with, no. Um, just over there is, like I say, that's the sawmill. Oh, I crashed because I wasn't looking. Yeah, that's the sawmill through there. Let me just get over this bridge. Oh, well, that's good. There's your screenshot. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, 
Pro shot for the win. Excellent. Excellent. So yeah, as I mentioned that earlier on, there is a road that goes just over there. Uh, you can see the, tr the track that goes around here. The reason I put that in is because if you have anything bigger than this combine, really, like a, you know, you've got a Lexium with a, um, with a giant header on the back, you're going to struggle to get that around here because I made it purposely nice and tight. There is no traffic coming up this way. Um, I know that much. So, but yeah, there is a larger road around there, which means you just have a bit of space in which to work in. Uh, and around we go that way. There's the sawmill and the uh, dairy. Come around the shed. Oh, with a little humpback bridge, which is quite tight, which is another reason why you've got that other road in because... Ooh, buddy. Can I even? Yes, is the answer. I mean, I'm probably breaking weight limits here or something, but, you know. I like that again. That's cool. Nailed it. All right. This is where you go up over the ford to South Healy. That's the last of the uh, the big yards up there. We're going to go this way. Yeah, as far as like custom animals, I haven't even begun to look into what that looks like. So maybe that will be an update at some point. There's Buddy Boy walking along the other side of the public footpath. And surprise, surprise, pedestrians are not uh, keeping to the side of the field. They're cutting straight through. That goes down there, crosses over a little footbridge. And then goes up the back of the other farm. And then you got our two fields over here. This is a lovely little satellite yard. The first thing that got me into modeling and building sheds was this. This is, if any of you watch any of my content, you'll recognize this. This is the shed from the Tenant Farmer series. Uh, built this one to extend the cattle sheds out. So that was a kind of a, a test case to see if it would work or not. I really liked it. So it came into here. Uh, you've got here just a little satellite shed really for putting cattle into and then a bit of a pen for them to get out and about. That is pretty much, pretty much it. Um, but nice and straightforward, nice and simple. I'm going to open this. I mean, there's no way it's going to work, so I'm just going to go forward. And then there's your map boundary right ahead. on the end there that's less than ideal 
that happened again as well. Ah, no, perfect. I really don't want to run over all of this crop, but I guess what other choice do I have? I'll do. Alright, in an effort to not knock down any more crop, let's just get it cut down instead. <laughs> I certainly should. Let's be honest, it was Game of Dragon's fault, so that's fine. That is all fine. So one thing we'll do, we'll go until we get a um hopefully get a grain tank full. Yeah, I tried to mimic the shape of... Uh, I took a lot of different areas of fields and brought them into the game. Maybe this wants to be pulled out the corner a little bit from a field death perspective. Uh, but yeah, I tried to mimic the shape of some of the fields that I liked or that were in the area that I uh, grew up in as well to stitch everything together. So it makes it a little bit more... Whilst it's not exactly a replica of a specific area, all the field shapes and sizes kind of are. So it's, it's good. It's good in terms of how that's worked out. At least I think so. Yeah, this field death might be a little bit too close to the hedge low for my liking. And yeah, we plans to make this area has a lot smaller fields in, but there is another area uh, like down by the big arable yard, but the fields are significantly bigger. You can easily get away with some of the larger equipment there as well, but I want to make everything that has a nice balance so you could do tackle things however you'd like to really.
There's a lot of deer up here though. Hello, Realistic. How are you doing today? I am well, thank you. Let's just stop off, actually. Can't really push these in farm sim. You have to actually get out and drag the things around, but that's fine. There you go. Uh, today, well, this is a little bit of this live test really on uh, on my map here. So we've just been doing a bit of mowing, a bit of a drive around the map. Got the combine out and ready to go. Uh, and then, yeah, a bit of just having to drive around. We're going to try and get a grain tank full here so I can bring the grain trailer over. And we'll get that, go and sell it somewhere. That's pretty much it, really. Probably only go for another 20 minutes or so, but it's all just a good starting point for me. See how we get on. I like this little field because it has a lot of different shade in it from the, the, the woods in the corner there. Even though it's middle of the afternoon, sun's out, mixes it all up. Uh, yes. No, be coming for FS22. Uh, it's about to start going through testing now and I mean, we've got another year of FS22 anyway, so we'll make that work. Uh, the next project though, we'll have to see how we get on. This one's taking about a year to build, so... If the next one takes as much time, then I don't know. We'll have to see. I nearly started to build um, a new shed for the, the next project this, this afternoon, or sorry, last night, but decided against it in the end. Didn't work out too badly, I suppose. Alright, 
We only have tractors, are we? Uh, custom crops? No. Uh, it's got linseed on here because we're using the base from Carmsden, but um, that's it. That's it for now. Again, it's not something I thought about. Could I add them on? Sure, probably. Uh, let's just plow through this field and we'll follow the footpath. Um, just haven't got to it yet. Do this, folks. Do this. Thank you. Lovely little forest to skip through. also wait and see as well because at the moment it's got most of the crops that um this area would have in it anyway and then with the platinum expansion coming bring in a few more as well i don't know what else we'll need rye could be an option i suppose So in reality, the walk that we've just done there in real life would probably be about... Um, like nine miles ish across country, I guess, something like that. Some idiot parked a mower in the uh, in the clamp there. So I have to spin around the side. Ah, thanks man, I appreciate that. It's looking good, it's getting there. It's amazing how long it takes, like... And full respect for Lex uh, Oxy now as well, for the amount of detail that he has on his maps, and the time and effort it takes to get there. There's always things that you see, and when you think it's finished, and you're driving around, like you're like here, and it's like, ah, no, I need to add this in, that doesn't look quite right. There's a lot of that happens. Well, certainly with me, at least. A lot of questions I have to ask Oxy, and I went to start testing a few things, and that changed quite a bit around for that. Why is it so dark? It's 2.40, 2.30 in the afternoon. Be lighter. weed problem around some of these fields yeah I think it I was looking at that a little bit beyond it unfortunately if only because well in theory it's not too difficult to do I just have to 
tweak a few things, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. Again, it might be something to do with an update. You know, I want to just get this one through testing it and polish this off as it is. And then, um, you know, maybe 1.1 or something can have that those bonus features in. Oh, where are you going, sir? Wait for this to all clear out a little bit. They're all going to the dairy for their ice creams. Nothing coming that way. Wonderful stuff. One thing I did find out very quickly was that the the only way really now to build roads in your game is in Blender. Um, and adjusting curves to make it work. None of this piecing roads together, Lark. Yeah, and also some of those features, I just don't know how to add. Some of them are, should be fairly straightforward, but others will take a little bit more time. So, you know, and may also then when you add them in, may corrupt things or make other things not work. So if I can get a... a oh, that was a mistake. Uh, if I can get a, a stable version of the game ready to go, then I'm going to do that, get it out for everyone and see, take stock. For a first map, this has already been quite a good learning experience anyway, so we'll we'll finish it up. Get it hopefully on all platforms and take it from there. I mean, don't really need it here yet, but it's nice to go and do something a bit different there. I keep forgetting it does that. All right, well, I think that might be as good a place as any for us to call it for now, to be honest with you folks. Yeah, so we will we'll come back to this and we'll, we'll keep doing more and more as we can. That Massey does look just delightful. I thought VF got stuck on his from the roads. I thought he didn't spend too much more time doing his. Hello, Pocket. What's going on? How are you? Uh, but yeah, either way, I, I think from a timeline perspective, I'm probably about nine months further ahead than VF in terms of actual time modeling. But yeah, there we go. He will get there eventually, I am sure. Uh, so we'll probably leave it here for now, I think. And we will uh, come back to it at some stage or another. Uh, like I say, if you like this and you want to see a bit more, I've gone into a bit more detail in a series of videos. One's out today on two of the different yards. So check those ones out. Uh, and then next week we'll have a probably a video coming out um, uh, it, revolving around features and uh, like you know game sell points and things like that. So we'll go into a bit more detail with those. I'm good, thanks.
Um, but yeah, we'll leave it there for now. So thank you very much. That's been a bit of a, a, a workaround on the Northern Farms. Hope you have enjoyed. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And I shall see you all in the next one. Till then, though, folks, do stay safe. Enjoy what you're doing as always. And we will see you sometime. Not sure when, because I'm going on holiday soon, but we'll see you sometime. Have a good one.